unless you were absent multiple days. There was one who was absent multiple days, and I typed in the zero, and I'd be forgiving with that person. But otherwise, get your stuff in. You got a zero right now. Okay. No, not you. You turned yours in. Okay, so we're in feet. You told me to go from feet to inches. I multiply by 12, so 2 times 12 is 24. So what's crazy is we did this math. We took the key root all so we could get to normal feet so we could do our normal conversion like you wanted. But 24 is not one of the answer choices. In fact, I told you the answer was D. So what did they want in the problem? Did they want inches? What did they say they wanted? They wanted cubic inches. So what do we need to do? We need to raise it to the third power. So I need to know 24 to the third power, and I'm betting it's 13,824 inches cubed. Okay, I, I agree that one was hard, and I don't know who made this up. Clearly, they've not taught or not thought about what we're in in algebra at this moment. They probably don't teach algebra. So they, they didn't know that we haven't gone over some of these things. We eventually are going to spend more time on, like, the cube root of 8. But if you could follow, we had to undo the cube, convert, and then cube it back. So this all happened because it was volume. If this had been area, we would have undone the square root. We would have converted, and then we would have squared it back. This kind of problem happens not only on the Aspire, but on the real ACT. So if you understood the process, more than likely, if you I took the ACT like five times. One of those five times for sure, I saw a question very, very similar to that. I'm not going to promise every time, but quite a few times. Are there any questions about that? Okay. When you finish your quiz, bring it directly to me, put it on my desk. I need you to clear off your desk now. All you need out is a piece of draft paper. If you don't have a piece of draft paper, I'll elaborate on what. I'll give you a piece. Is that what you're saying? Can I have a piece? What are you doing with my mind? Does anyone else need a sheet of graph paper? Okay. I'm not going to say time limit. Sorry, Dan. On this quiz, I did last period, and we went way longer than I expected. So I'm not even going to this period. Take as long as you need to get it done. I know some of us are perfectionists when it comes to graphing. If you want to use colors so I can tell the different regions, that's fine. It's, again, doing what we did yesterday. You know what I'm looking for with a solution set. It looks crazy. It's just a bunch of colors. Where do the colors overlap? If you don't want to use colors and you just use your pencil, make sure I can really tell where that solution set is supposed to be. Make sure I can tell where the solution set is supposed to be. Yes, I am saying bring it to me directly and don't put it in the bucket. However, when Maggie brings it to me, she's going to go ahead and staple it. Because otherwise, I'm not going to know what on earth. When you completely finish this, the first couple done, I'm going to have a job for them. If we can all get done fairly quickly, we'll learn how to make a book today. Otherwise, we're set. We throw that away time. If you would, I'm not going to make us move back to rows. I think that's a bit ridiculous because it's not supposed to last that long. Will you spread out your desk a little so you have a little room to breathe? Back it on up. Back it on up. If you want a ruler, you can get one out of the cabinet. If you want colors, you're welcome to borrow mine. Good luck.